At the Vatican Observatory, a priest discovers that a comet will be soon landing on Earth. He immediately checks a bunch of books to confirm his suspicions and informs his superior, who gathers the council to discuss the issue. It turns out that in the Bible, there's a prophecy detailing the signs of doomsday, which are disasters triggered every time an angel blows his trumpet. Five of seven angels have already blown their trumpets and have caused things like wars, tsunamis, and 9-11. The incoming comet is the sixth, the number of the evil, which means the Antichrist will be freed when the comet lands. Meanwhile diplomat Robert goes to Rome's Catholic hospital because his wife Kate is going to give birth. However Father Spoleto has bad news, Kate had a miscarriage, so the baby died and her womb is so damaged that she'll never get pregnant again. Thankfully Spoleto also has a solution, a mother died giving birth at the same than Kate, and since Kate doesn't know about her child yet, they could just exchange babies and keep it a secret. Robert accepts and takes the baby to see Kate, presenting the child as their own flesh and blood. Years pass the baby grows into a healthy and happy child named Damien. Robert continues to work as an official at the embassy until one day he's chosen to be a new deputy ambassador in the United Kingdom, meaning the family will have to move out of Italy soon. Meanwhile the ambassador gets stuck in traffic on the way to a meeting. At that moment a worker accidentally knocks off a wheel stopper, causing a tank truck to roll down toward the street until it collides with the ambassador's car. It also spills gasoline all over it at the same a man drops a cigarette, triggering an explosion. After this incident, Robert is chosen as the new ambassador and he moves with the family to London, where they're assigned a huge fancy house. Two years later, Kate takes Damien to the park and gets distracted when her phone rings. Nobody answers when she picks up the call and after hanging out, she's devastated to see Damien has disappeared. Luckily she soon finds him hiding behind a tree and scolds him for scaring her. A few days later a party is thrown for Damien's fifth birthday, and journalist Keith comes to cover the event. The nanny is helping around when suddenly she notices a black dog sitting nearby and something in her changes. She immediately climbs to the roof of the house and announces she's doing this for Damien before using a rope to self-delete. Everyone starts panicking and Keith takes pictures of the incident while Robert rushes to pick up Damien, wanting to protect him from the sight. However Damien doesn't look bothered and even waves at the dog. The incident soon reaches the news and reporters start following Robert around, but he refuses to comment on the matter. While trying to avoid them, he accidentally collides with Keith and breaks his camera, but promises to buy him a new one. Later Father Brennan comes to see Robert to tell him that Damien is the Antichrist, explaining he had been there the night of the birth and he knew Damien's real mother had been a jackal. Robert thinks the man is insane and makes security take him away. As Brennan leaves the building, Keith notices him and takes more pictures. Later at home, Robert and Kate interview Mrs. Baylock and are very impressed by her experience so they hire her as the new nanny. When Baylock meets Damien, she tells him she's there to protect him. In the meantime Keith works on all the pictures he took and notices a strange line above Brennan's head, which appears on every photo of him. The next day, the family must attend the previous nanny's funeral and Kate asks Baylock to bring Damien. Baylock says Damien isn't feeling very well and shouldn't go, but Kate doesn't believe it and forces Damien to get in the car. On the way to the church, Damien starts looking sick as he notices the crucifixes on the surrounding buildings and suddenly he goes feral, throwing a tantrum and attacking his mom in the process. Kate gets injured before Robert can hold the boy down and tell the driver to take them back. At home, Robert takes care of Kate's wound while she points out Damien got sick out of nowhere after not having been sick a single day in his entire life, which can't be normal. Afterward Kate has a bath and gets worried when her wrist starts bleeding. Then she sees Damien standing in front of the tub with a mask on before revealing creepy teeth while holding a rope. Kate then wakes up and realizes it was a nightmare. Meanwhile Robert checks on his son and is shocked to find a dog growling at him. Baylock immediately comes in and calms the dog down, explaining she and Damien found the dog roaming in the garden. Damien liked it so much that he decided to adopt it. Furious, Robert tells her he gets to decide when a pet is brought to the house and orders Baylock to get rid of the dog. The next day, Kate and other moms go with Damien's class on a field trip to the zoo. Damien decides to look at the monkeys, who are visibly scared of him. Kate notices this and tries to carry him away, but Damien keeps staring at them and suddenly a gorilla starts pounding at the glass as if it was trying to reach out for the boy to attack him. Everyone runs away in panic as every animal starts roaring, but Damien still keeps a blank face. When they return home, Kate finally breaks down and tells Robert there's something weird about Damien. She also decides she needs therapy. That night, Kate is brushing her teeth before bed and is startled by a monster appearing in the mirror with her, but it's just another nightmare. When she goes downstairs, she finds Damien making a sandwich in the kitchen but he doesn't answer any of her questions, he just goes to his room. Meanwhile Keith continues to analyze the pictures, finding more strange light marks. Sometime later, Robert is attending a church function when he's approached by Brennan, who claims Kate is in danger and tells him a time and place to meet. He also says it'll be the last time they'll see each other. When Brennan leaves, Keith takes pictures of him again. Soon Robert meets with Brennan, who tells him to search for a man called Buggenhagen because he's the only person who knows how to murder the Antichrist. Brennan insists that Damien is the devil's offspring and if they don't do something he'll kill Kate, who
who Brennan claims is pregnant. Apparently Spoleto lied to Robert so he would take Damien, which means all this was planned from the start by the hospital priests. However Robert still thinks Brennan is crazy and walks away. Afterward the storm picks up and Brennan starts hearing weird noises, so he rushes to the nearest church. The front gate is locked so he has to climb over it, but when he reaches the door it's locked as well. As he pounds on the door hoping for help, a pole from the roof suddenly breaks and falls, impaling Brennan and instantly killing him. Meanwhile Robert goes home and is shocked to hear Kate confirm she's pregnant, however she wants to get rid of it because she doesn't want to give birth to another kid like Damien. The following day, Robert learns from the news that Brennan died. Afterward Robert goes to see Kate's therapist, who says Kate is hallucinating things like her son being evil and not being truly hers. Meanwhile Balok shares an approving look with Damien, who decides to ride his scooter while Kate is on chair watering the plants. Damien rides right behind her and pushes her off the balcony, but Kate manages to hold onto the edge at the last second. She asks Damien for help, however the kid doesn't react and just watches her mother crash on the floor. Moments later Robert makes it to the hospital and learns that Kate survived but she lost her baby. When he checks on her, Kate asks him not to let Damien kill her. Later at home, Robert discovers the dog is still there, but before he can kick it out, he gets a call from Keith who tells him it's urgent for them to meet. Robert goes to Keith's studio and is shocked to see that the pictures Keith took of Brennan and the nanny have a white light that predicted how they would die. Keith also has Brennan's autopsy report and has learned that the priest has a birthmark shaped like the number 666 on his thigh. Next Keith takes Robert to Brennan's underground hideout, where they find all the walls covered with Bible pages and crucifixes. Keith has already looked through Brennan's things and discovered he was obsessed over a comet that fell on Earth five years ago on June 6. That same day Damien was born at 6 a.m., making his birthday 666. While taking pictures of the room, Keith appeared in a mirror and the picture showed him with a white light around his neck too, so he's afraid he may die soon. Robert agrees to research Damien's true origin and goes to Rome with Keith to talk to the hospital staff that was working on the day of Damien's birth. They're shocked to discover the hospital burned down after Robert's family left, but they're able to track down a nun who survived the fire and now has visible burns. The nun gives them enough information to find Spoleto. On their way to another church, the duo stops for lunch and Keith shares the Bible passage that discusses the birth of the Antichrist. Keith thinks it's a metaphor for politics and that the devil's offspring wants power of the humankind, so Robert was chosen on purpose because of his position. Damien probably even killed the previous ambassador. Eventually they cross a lake and reach a church in the countryside to meet with Spoleto, whose face is deformed from the fire. He can't talk or walk, but when Ruber asks about Damien's real mother, he writes the name of an old cemetery north of Rome. Then Robert and Keith go to the cemetery and find the gate locked, so they have to sneak inside by climbing a wall. They look around the graves and found two for a mother and child with the right date, so they open the mother's first. As Brennan predicted, they find the skeleton of a jackal. Next they open the kid's grave and Robert is devastated to see the baby's skull has a hole, meaning his child was killed on purpose to set everything up. Suddenly two dogs appear out of nowhere and attack the guys, who fight against the animals and get wounded in the process. After lots of struggle, Robert pushes a dog off with a tool then attacks another one with a grave crucifix, knocking it down. Soon the dogs come after them again, so the men escape by jumping over a fence. Meanwhile Baylock and Damien try visiting Kate at the hospital. The nurse tries to tell them it's not allowed, but Baylock convinces her to at least let her change the flowers. While Baylock goes inside, Damien stays in the corridor and stares at the guard, who gets more and more nervous by the second. Inside the room, Baylock covers Kate's mouth so she can't ask for help and injects a bubble of air into Kate's intravenous line. Soon Kate starts having an air embolism, and Baylock turns off the machine when Kate's attack triggers the alert. After a few seconds of pain Kate dies, and Baylock leaves with Damien as if nothing happened. Sometime later at the hotel, Robert receives a call telling him about Kate's death. That night he has a horrible nightmare of an evil Damien staring at him, a monster in a red hood, and a priest throwing his stillborn baby off a balcony. When Keith checks on him, Robert tells him he's accepted Damien is evil and he wants revenge for his wife. The duo travels all the way to Israel to find Bug and Hagen, the only man who knows how to kill the Antichrist. Bug and Hagen gives them a special set of knives to kill Damien with and teaches them the prayer that must be recited during the ritual. He also explains that Balak is an apostle of hell and that Damien should have a 666 birthmark. This makes Robert start having second thoughts because he has bathed Damien before and he never saw any mark. Bug and Hagen explains it could be covered by hair, but Robert starts feeling sick at the idea of killing his own son and leaves. Desperate to survive the photograph omen, Keith grabs the knives to kill Damien himself, but on his way out, a sign falls from a building and instantly kills him. Seeing this, Robert has no choice but to accept the truth and goes home with the knives. Once he returns to his house, Robert grabs a pair of scissors with a plan in mind. At that moment the storm causes a door to shut close and wakes up the dog, who immediately starts chasing after Robert. He runs as fast as he can until he reaches a hatch and tricks the dog into falling in it so he can lock it up. 
Afterward Robert goes upstairs and cuts the hair of a sleeping Damien to finally discover the 666 birthmark. Suddenly Balok attacks him, so they start fighting until Robert manages to hit her against the wall to knock her out. Then he picks up a screaming Damien, kicking a clinging Balok on his way out. When they make it to the car, Balok smashes the windshield and tries to block the road, however Robert hits her with the car and keeps going at a crazy speed, causing some cops to start following him. Eventually Robert finds a church and takes Damien inside. Then he holds the boy at the altar and gets ready to stab him as he recites the right prayer. At that moment Damien says please daddy don't and Robert hesitates, giving the cops time to come in and shoot him dead. Sometime later, the Pope dies in his room at the same time a funeral is held for Robert. The President of the United States holds Damien's hand while the boy smiles devilishly. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.